We already discussed this. We're too poor to raise a child. We can barely take care of ourselves. One day, he'll understand. Goodbye, Derek. Bye, Derek. I'll miss you. What on earth? Is somebody out here? What is this baby doing here? Hello? Hello? I can't just leave him out here. Guess I'll have to raise him as my own. Come on, buddy. You're coming with me. Hey, look who it is! Poor farm boy Derek! What are you even doing here? You're good for nothing! You're a loser! I'm not a loser! You'll see! I'm gonna become a billionaire one day with my farm! And you're gonna regret what you're saying to me! <laughs> oh, you got jokes, farm boy! <laughs> Don't you want some hay or something? Y'all, no one cares about farms. Well, that's stupid because farms are needed for people to have food. What? Whatever, you suck. Ow. Yeah, you're nothing and you're gonna be nothing forever. You guys are wrong. Oh, come on, Tim. Let's get out of here. This place is starting to smell like a farm. I think it's him. Derek, Derek, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Can you just take me home, please? Of course, kid. Come on. <sighs> Tom, can I ask you something? Sure thing, kid. What's on your mind? Why did my parents leave me here? Do you know anything about them? How come they didn't want me? <sighs> I'm sorry, Derek. I tried to find them, but I just couldn't. I have no idea why they left you here. It's like they just completely abandoned me and disappear off the face of the planet. It's not fair. Hey, don't say that. I've always been here for you, and I love having you around to help me with the farm. You're like a son to me. Thanks, Tom, but sometimes it feels like everyone in town makes fun of me for living on a farm. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. That's because there isn't. Listen, kid. They may not understand the importance of what we do here, but we know how important it is, and that's what matters. We need to keep this farm in business for both of us. Mr. Blackwell has taken over more and more of the farmland. Tom, I've been looking for you. What is it, Mr. Blackwell? You and I need to talk. Please, come inside. I just don't understand what's on your mind. Every other farmer has sold their land to me, Tom. You're the last one holding out. Because I can't sell it to you, Mr. Blackwell. My parents grew up here with me. This land means too much to me. This land is prime real estate. And if you don't sell it to me, things are going to get really bad for you, Tom. And I wouldn't want to see that. This is my final offer. Whoa, Mr. Blackwell. That, that's a lot of money. Of course it's a lot of money. I'm going to need time to think about it. It's now or never, Tom. And I don't like waiting. You'll regret not selling to me. You know, Mr. Blackwell, I think it's time you leave. I don't really think you're welcome here anymore. Derek, please, we should probably consider this. Tom, we can make this farm work. If it's that important to you, I'll do anything it takes. We'll become the richest people around here, even richer than Mr. Blackwell. And there's nothing he can do about it. <laughs> you two are a joke, you know that? Really sad and pathetic. This isn't the last you've heard of me. I'll be around, gentlemen. This new seed we're developing will produce enough food to feed the entire world, Dale. I'm so close to perfecting it. Well, how does it work? It's a little complicated. We'll be able to end world hunger. This is a huge milestone. What are you two doofus farm boys working on? Shut up, Tim. Whoa, think you're tough now, Derek, huh? You're not tough. Come on, guys, just leave us alone. Shut up. It's time to teach you farm boys a lesson. Oh, ow. Hey, that's enough. This looks super important. Oh. What? No! Oh, he's gonna cry. <laughs> What a baby! Hold on, I'll go get my phone so he can take a selfie of him crying. Oh, no, no. What am I gonna do now? I needed this. Oh, man, Derek. What are you gonna do now? I feel like all my hard work just went to waste. Ugh. I'll have to save some money to restart my work, buy some new equipment. What is this? This corn isn't what I want. How am I supposed to pop this? Um... Sir, it's the kernels that pop and make popcorn, so all you have to do Whatever. is- Whatever! Vegetables are stupid anyway! Vegetables aren't stupid? This stand stinks! It's in the worst location ever, there's no customers, and I haven't sold a single thing in days! It's because it's the only place we're allowed to sell food! Well, that's not fair! We need to go somewhere else! Derek, we don't have a choice, son. Just keep at it! We gotta do what we gotta do, and everything will turn out alright! Everything's not turning out alright. It's all because Mr. Blackwell won't let us sell our food anywhere else. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna do something risky. 
Whoa! I've never seen such amazing corn like what you're selling, dude! Wow, thanks! And like I said, it's all organic and natural. It comes from hard work and dedication to the crops. And it's local! I don't know what that is, but if you keep bringing this, I'm gonna keep buying it. Here's a hundred bucks. Whoa, hundred bucks? This is too much, it's just corn. Dude, just keep it. I want more of your crops. Wow, this is awesome. You know, if Tom and I started selling our food here, we could make so much more money. And what do you think you're doing here? Mr. Blackwell, I told you and Tom, you aren't supposed to be here. You don't run all the farmer's markets, Mr. Blackwell. I'm allowed to sell here. Ho, 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 ho. No, I don't run all the farmer's markets. I do own all of them. Now leave, you little punk. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this, but I have to. Ho, 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 ho. This will teach you a lesson. You can't just do this. I just did. Now pick up this mess. Get it out of my farmer's market. Hey, what's going on, Derek? You look upset. It's Mr. Blackwell again. He destroyed my crop stand yesterday. He what? That's totally not fair. He can't keep getting away with this stuff. That's just what he does. He has all the money in the world and thinks he can do whatever he wants. And I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah, well, just because you have money, you can't do whatever you want. Gotta stop him from doing this. I know, Dale, and I will. When I have a billion dollars, I'm not gonna treat people the way he does. I'm gonna make a change around here. Whoa, 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 whoa. A billion dollars? That's a huge goal, Derek. I've already started making making money selling food. And once that seed I'm making is perfect, we'll be able to end world hunger and I'll make a ton of money. I'll sell it to everybody in the world. Honestly, that's a great plan, Derek. I believe in you. I'm gonna become a billionaire. I just need a little more time to accomplish it. That's all. But I'm not gonna let anything stop me. Uh-oh, Tom does not look happy. What the heck were you thinking going to that farmer's market? Now everyone in town is talking about you. Doesn't matter, Tom. We made money. We made a lot of money. Whoa, yeah, that is a lot, but, but nothing. We can't let Mr. Blackwell control our lives like this. You don't understand what he's capable of, Derek. He threatened me because of your actions. But it's not fair, Tom. We can make so much more money by going to that market. I don't want to hear another word about it. We have to find another way to make ends meet. That doesn't involve of the farmer's market. We have a chance to make something of ourselves. Make something of this farm. Don't you want that? Derek, we already have something. We have each other. We don't need Mr. Blackwell's dirty money. I understand, Tom. I just wish we could do more. And we will. We'll find a way. But we can't risk everything for a quick buck. That kid's gonna learn to stop interfering with me. He crossed me, and that's not something anybody wants to do. Cause then I do something like this. <laughs> See if you can sell your stupid vegetables now. Oh, what are y'all gonna do when your land is destroyed? Guess you'll have to sell it to me. <laughs> Fire trucks? Oh my gosh! What the heck's going on? Everything's on fire! Oh, it was Mr. Blackwell, it had to be! He set our crops on fire, Tom! Oh, I told you, Derek! We can't mess with Mr. Blackwell! Look at our farm! It's gone! It's completely gone! You stay here! I gotta talk to the fireman, see if we can save any of this! This isn't fair! I'm gonna make everything okay for my family. I'm going to change my life! And this, this is just the beginning. It only took five years and a whole lot of work, but I think this land is finally ready to be planted again. Do you really think Mr. Blackwell set fire to the crops? Oh, I'm certain of it, but we couldn't prove anything. But I know it was him. It had to have been. Well, let's just forget about him. Let's focus on these seeds. You really think they're going to win first place? Oh, <laughs> Dale, my friend, I'm sure of it. I've been working on these for years. This time, I think I've really nailed the formula. Well, let's go plant them then. We don't have much time. All right, we gotta be careful not to put them in too far. Following your lead. I think this is perfect. You know what this means, don't you? What? These seeds we just planted, they're gonna be worth so much money. The prize at the county fair is a thousand dollars. Whoa, that's a lot of money for just some seeds. These aren't just any seeds, Dale. These are gonna change the world. I'm gonna make everything right by my family. And I'm not gonna let someone like Mr. Blackwell control us anymore. That's what I like to hear. You've come a long way, Derek. 
I'm so proud of you. Thanks, dude. Now come on, we've got a couple more to plant, and then we'll be done for the day. Thank you for taking the time to see the produce I've grown. I've engineered them not only to taste better, but also to grow faster than regular crops. Wow, well these are remarkable, son! You'll have to show these to the head of the county fair! I believe they're top quality! Hey, Farmer Bull! Come on over here! What's going on over here? Take a look at this! Ooh, these are the best crops I've ever seen. Give me a little taste of this right now, if you don't mind. Man, this corn is good. It has the juice. I can't imagine anything more beautiful than this. That's what I told you, Farmer Bo. Well, I think it's safe to say I found first place in the county fair. It's this man right here. Wait, really? Of course. Mm, as long as you keep bringing these vegetables, man, these are good. Here, you've earned that $1,000 prize money, kid. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, sir. I'm honored. You should be. And you should take these to the National Fair. It's happening in a few months. That prize money is worth like three times what I just gave you. Wow, thank you, sir. I'll definitely look into it. You've got a bright future ahead of you, kid. Whatever you do, don't you stop. I still can't believe I won first place. This is so fun. Can't wait to tell Tom. The look on his face is going to be priceless. Well, congratulations, Derek. Thanks, Mr. Blackwell. Congratulations on breaking my streak. I've won 10 fairs in a row. This was going to be number 11. Well, I'm not sorry for winning the fair. I need the money for the farm. I figured you would have gotten the message five years ago, but I guess it's tough sinking into that thick head of yours. Clearly, you're more stubborn than I thought. I knew you were the one that set fire to our crops. Oh, but you have no proof. That's so sad. Stay away from the National Fair. I will not let you win another one. What I made is better than anything you and your overproduced farms can make. I'm not afraid of you, Mr. Blackwell. Brr, you should be. Tom, I'm home. Hey, kid, welcome back. Well, how'd it go? Well, Tom, we won. We won first prize at the county fair. First prize? That's great. I knew you could do it, Derek. And I won $1,000. $1,000? That's great news. What do you plan to do with the money? Well, I was thinking of using it to attend the national fair. It's happening next month. That's a great idea, Derek. We could use some more income coming in. How about planting more of the seeds to sell? Well, I'd love to. It, it's just... It's just what? Well, to be honest, I'm a little worried someone might steal them. And honestly, I wouldn't put it past Mr. Blackwell to be the one to do it. Hmm. Well, we'll take precautions, kid. We really need the money. We can't keep this farm if we don't have any money. No, you're right. Okay, we can start planting them tomorrow. First thing in the morning. That's right, everybody. The county fair vegetables are here to be sold to all of you. Come check them out. Come on. Oh, these are amazing. I've never tasted anything like this before. It's like I want to slap myself to wake up. That's how good they are. I need more. I need more vegetables. Can you get me more vegetables, please? Excuse me, sir. Yeah? How can I help you? How did you manage to grow such delicious crops? I mean, these vegetables actually taste good. Vegetables are usually garbage. Well, it's all in the formula. We've engineered these crops not only to taste better, but to grow faster than just regular crops. Oh, okay. I don't care how you made it. I just want more and more and more. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't worry. There's plenty for everybody. Well, seems like word of your crops is starting to spread quickly. Yeah, I guess so. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so excited about vegetables in my life. I can't wait to tell Tom all about this. I know he's going to be so proud of me when he gets back. I'm sure he will be. We've worked so hard to get to this point. We both have. Well, looks like we've completely sold out of our stock. I guess I'm going to have to go plant some more. Good idea. Let's go. Derek, I can't believe how much money we've made since you introduced your new crops. This has been a great benefit to the farm. Well, I'm glad you listened to me and gave me a chance. We needed to try something new. It's great to see the impact it's had on our farm and the impact we've had on the community. You know, kid, I'm so proud of you. I know I'm not your real father, but I love you like my son. And I love you too, Tom. You're the only dad I've ever known. I don't even care to look for my real parents now that I'm older. You've been with me all along. Thanks, Derek. You made me so proud. Now, I think it's time we go celebrate with the money we've earned. Sounds good to me, son. All right. Now, 
Where is it? Must be this over here. These special crops he's created. Huh. I'm not gonna lose the national fair to that idiot. No one disrespects me to my face. And this is gonna guarantee my win. <laughs> Derek won't even know what hit him. Do not wait for the national fair. We're gonna make so much money. Oh great, here they come. <laughs> and I'll be ready too. Just wait and see. <laughs> You know, these are really good. Really? You think so? Of course. I don't lie, kid, but I've already had some of them. What do you mean? That man over there. He's selling these exact same crops. What? That's right, everybody. The newest invention from me. What are you doing with my crops? You stole them. How could you have done this? What are you talking about? I've been working on these for a long time. I don't want you taking away this moment from me. You're a liar. You stole them. Those are my vegetables and you know it. Hey, hey, all right, what's going on over here? This man is just verbally assaulting me, Judge. How dare you accuse Mr. Blackwell of stealing your crops? He's a good, honest man, and he's extremely wealthy and well-known. You're a nobody. That's why he wanted to steal my product, pass it off as his own, and be famous. That is not true. Do you have any idea where you are, kid? This is the National Fair. We don't have time for this here. You are banned from the National Fair. Now take these worthless vegetables and leave. <laughs> So long, Derek. Well, Mr. Blackwell, I have no choice but to announce you as the winner of the National Fair yet again. <laughs> That's right. I'm uh, guessing you didn't win the fair, did you? No, Tom, I didn't. Mr. Blackwell stole our crops and passed them off as his own. What? That's not right. Well, we have all the proof we need back at the farm. Derek, get in the car. It doesn't matter. The fair is over. He's a notable member of the community, so no one is going to believe us. We have to do something. We can't just let him get away with this. I know, Derek. We'll figure something out. We have the evidence. We'll make sure justice is served. You know, we better, because I'm sick of just waiting around and waiting for things to change. Listen, Derek, don't be upset. How can I not be upset when- Wait, Tom, look out! <laughs> Ow. Sir, sir, can you hear me? What, what happened? Tom? Where's Tom? You were in a car accident. We need to get you to the hospital. Tom! Tom, are you okay? Tom! What's wrong with him? Is he okay? Tom! Tom, wake up! Hey, things will be okay, Derek. Tom would want you to stay strong. I know he would, but Dale, it just feels like I've, I've lost everything. <laughs> What am I gonna do now? Derek, is that you? We've been looking for you everywhere. I'm sorry? Who are you? We're your parents, Derek. We're so sorry we left you, but we want to get to know you now. You want to know me? Now? Now that Tom's gone, you come out of nowhere and show up? We're sorry, son. We didn't mean to hurt you. Just want to make things right. Tom was my real father. I don't even know who you are. You two abandoned me when I was just a baby. We know, Derek. We want to be a part of your life again. Maybe we can just talk and get to know each other a little bit. Please, just give us this chance. All right, fine. We can talk, but not here. We knew this life would be better for you, Derek. It was not an easy decision, but we were too poor to take care of you. We used to work for Mr. Blackwell, but he ruined our lives and we're left now with no money. Wow, I had no idea. I guess I can understand why you did it, but I'm happy with the life I have now. That's what we wanted to talk to you about. Now that Tom is dead, we know you'll be given the farm. And what do you want with that? We want to sell the farm and use the money to help us rebuild our lives. Then we can be together. Are you kidding? You want to sell the farm? You two are terrible people. I want nothing to do with you. Derek, please. Just listen to us. No, I'm done listening. I'm not selling that farm. It meant the world to Tom, and it means the world to me. It was nice seeing you, Mom and Dad. I wonder who that could be. Uh, hello? Are you Derek? Yeah, I'm Derek. How can I help you? I'm here to talk to you about Tom's will. Here, read this over. Wow, a hundred thousand dollars? I didn't know Tom had that much money. Well, that was left over after the crops are sold. And Tom wanted you to know he was saving it for when you needed to get new equipment. He was saving this? I had no idea. Wow, thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. 
Yeah. Have a good day. Hey, man. What's going on? Tom left me everything he had. Whoa. Really? Yeah, that was just his lawyer. He left me the whole farm, along with all the money he had in his savings. He was saving money for me for years, Dale. Well, that's awesome, man. What are you going to do? I don't know. I love the farm, but I can't take care of everything alone. I don't think you have to. I'll quit my job and help you. What? Really? Dale, I couldn't ask you to quit your job. Of course, man. I believe in you. I know you can make more seeds and support us. Well, thanks, Dale. If you're really willing to help, I could definitely use it. Anything for my best friend. Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get to work. Oh, man, it is so hot today. Uh, who's that? Oh, of course. Mr. Blackwell, you know you're not allowed on my property anymore, right? Derek, my old friend, I have to hand it to you for not quitting. You've done pretty well for yourself. What do you want, Mr. Blackwell? You know, Derek, I've always liked your attitude. You're a fighter. Tom wasn't smart enough to sell me the farm, but I know you are, and I'm willing to offer you a lot of money How for dare it. you insult Tom? I've dedicated my whole life and all of my money to this farm, and I refuse to give up on it. Huh. Well, I guess I was wrong. There's a first time for everything. You're just like Tom. Stupid and stubborn. You're never gonna win, and I will own this land one day. Just wait and see, my friend. Your time is running out. I'll show him. Make sure no one ever steals from me ever again. Especially not him. So, Derek, you want to patent your crops this time to prevent Mr. Blackwell from stealing from you again. That's a smart move. We should have done that the first time. Yeah, I didn't think he was capable of doing what he did, but now I know better, and I need to protect myself. Yeah, we can't let him steal from us anymore. We need to protect our work. I understand. You know, it might take some time, but I can start working on the patent application right away. That's great to hear. Do you have any idea how long it might take? Yeah, it could take a few months, depending on how smoothly the process goes. In the meantime, we can keep advertising the new crops and building up more interest. Yeah, that's a good idea. We need to get the word out there so that people People know about our crops. I think that's a good plan. And I'll keep you both updated on the progress. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Guess we have to get back to the farm. Hey, Derek. You know, that patent was the smartest thing we ever did. I know. It allowed us to expand the farm, hire all these people, and fight back against Mr. Blackwell with our new vegetables. We officially have tens of millions of dollars now. Yeah, we've come a long way. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm looking to acquire another farm down the road. I'm about to head over there now. Another farm? That's awesome. Do you need any help? No, it's okay. I'll be able to handle this on my own. I don't know, Derek. Mr. Blackwell's been pressuring me to sell my land to him. I know, he used to do the same thing to me. But don't worry, I'm not gonna kick you off your land. I wanna help you by giving you extra support on your farm. Help me? What kind of support? My team and I will help you run this farm, and in return, we'll share the profits. Everything is upfront and honest. That's the way I do business. Okay, I agree. You're not gonna regret this. Welcome to our new family. And it feels good to help these people. Unlike Mr. Blackwell. Oh great, it's tax season again. I'm not paying these taxes. Mr. Blackwell, I'm sorry to disturb you at this hour. Ugh, you again, what is it? Can't you say I'm busy? I uh, know, sir. It's about Derek. He keeps winning over more and more farmers. I don't know how long your business can survive if he keeps winning like this. What? That's impossible. How's he doing it? Well, uh, I think... I think he's helping the farmers instead of buying their land. Helping the farmers? Pah, that's ridiculous. Even with his new crops, he can't win? Not against me. But sir, he is winning. It's only a matter of time before- I will not allow it. We need to stop him in his tracks. Now, go to Derek's farm and steal some more of those seeds. Where are those crops? I gotta find them or else Mr. Blackwell's gonna be mad at me again. Oh, is that them over there? Mr. Blackwell sent- oh, uh, oh, yeah, he did. And I'm guessing he asked you to take more of my crops, right? Uh, yeah, he did. You don't have to work for Mr. Blackwell, you know. My team pays so much better, and we don't treat our workers like servants. 
Oh, well, I don't know. I'm just worried about what Mr. Blackwell will do. I used to feel the same way. Trust me. But don't worry, I'll take care of it. Join my team, and you won't regret it. You mean it? Okay, I'll do it. Welcome aboard. You know, this is the smartest decision you've made in a while. All right, here goes nothing. You! What are you doing here? You and I need to talk. Fuck! What did you want to talk about? Your farmhand was caught trying to steal my crops. What? That's impossible! I, I had nothing to do with that. Mr. Blackwell, you need to stop lying. He confessed everything to me, but that's not why I'm here. I want to make you a deal. A deal, huh? I'm listening. Your business is failing, and you need money. I want to buy you out of your land. I would never sell to you or work with you. You're just a poor, good-for-nothing loser. So you're saying no to the deal? That's a big, fat no for Mr. Blackwell. Well, that's okay. It's a shame. Your time's limited now. My time's limited? What are you talking about? Good luck, Mr. Blackwell. I think you're going to need it. Don't you just walk away from me. Uh, Derek, I'll get back at you. You wait and see. You know, this new social media campaign is actually bringing us a lot of customers. I know. Derek, can you believe it? We just hit the one billion dollar mark. I always dreamed of this moment, but honestly, there were moments I never thought I'd be here. Tom would be so proud of all that we've accomplished. Oh, you know he would be, my friend. You've come a long way since those early days on the farm. And I couldn't have done it without you, Dale. Quitting your job, giving up almost everything to help me with this. Thank you. Well, of course. I told you I'd do anything for you. I'm going to head out now. Congratulations again, Derek. I'll talk to you later. Well, you finally did it. You put me out of business, Derek. You ruined everything. Mr. Blackwell, I offered you a chance to work with me years ago, and you refused. Don't blame me for your failures. You're just still a poor farmhand at heart, and you'll never be anything more than that. Well, it seems as though I've made a whole lot of myself. Stay away from me, Mr. Blackwell. I don't have time for this. I'm about to unveil my next product. Next product, huh? You're the worst. Got a new product coming out, Derek. I guess it's time I do some investigating on my own. Now, where did your stupid self put this? What, what on earth is that? Oh, no, no, no. Officer Rufus, arrest this man who's about to steal my product. I wasn't going to do anything of the sort. Mr. Black Whales, you was on arrest now, y'all. I never had a new product, but I knew you were going to try to steal it. So it doesn't exist? Uh, you tricked me. Now, Officer Rufus, if you don't mind. You was under arrest, and you going to Yale, y'all. Ronnie, stop! That's my laptop! Give it back! Over my damn body! No! No, 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 no! Not my laptop! No! Take that, Noah! I hate you! Come on, please turn on, please! No! Oh, what? You gonna cry now? <laughs> Ronnie, that was my key to becoming a billionaire! Billionaire? You don't even make 20 bucks! You're a loser! Dad, please, I need a ride to the electronics store! Why, so I can buy you new headphones? No, I need to fix my laptop! Why would I help you after you've been so horrible? to your brother yesterday. What are you even talking about? Get your own ride. I am so disappointed in you. You are terrible. Dad, wait. Ugh, fine, whatever. I'll just walk to the electronics store myself then. So what do you think? Can you fix it? Yeah, in your dreams. This thing is toast. This has got to be the trashiest laptop I've ever seen. Well, I did get run over by a car. It's seen better days. So why do you even want to fix this hunk of junk? Well, I can't just buy a new one and I need it for work. Well, there's no fixing this disaster. So, oh well. So really, there's nothing you can do at all? I'll offer you a couple quarters and a stick of gum for it. Come on, dude. Seriously? That's a ripoff. All right, all right, fine. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. Take it or leave it. At least the school will let me use their computers. I think it's best I invest some of this money. I hope it goes to good use. Before I know it, maybe it'll even double in return. Yeah, let's see. Oh, this one looks good. What are you doing? Wasting your money on a dumb investment? What do you want, Ronnie? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to see what the next billionaire was gonna do with his $20. Oh, you think you're so smart, don't you? I'm just trying to make the right decisions. I want to be rich one day. Maybe this is the way to do it. Yeah, well, if you're really smart, you would have spent that money on a haircut because your hair looks ridiculous. No, it doesn't. 
Just leave me alone. You know, Noah, this is why no one likes you and everyone likes me. Oh, yeah, Ronnie, do they? They do. I happen to be the most popular kid in school. I have way more friends than you, and even Stacy has a crush on me. None of that even matters, Ronnie. Just knock it off. Oh, yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? You're just a nobody. All right, boys, that's enough. This library is peace and quiet only. He's the one that started it. All right, Noah, you're coming with me. Seriously, why do I get detention? I didn't do anything. Because this is where you belong. Starting fights in the library, you're nothing but a rule breaker. Now you're gonna stay in detention and be quiet. Ugh, great detention. Wait a second, Timmy? Hey, Timmy, what are you doing here? You're like the nicest guy in school. Well, according to the teachers, I was the one who started a food fight. Even though I was getting my head pushed into a bowl of spaghetti. Ugh, not the cafeteria spaghetti. That's nasty. Right? That's what I'm saying. They blame the whole thing on me. Oh, man, I'm really sorry. Seems to be a running theme today. Something similar happened to me. Yeah, well, what are you in for? My brother came over and started picking a fight. And then he pushed me in the library and thought I was the one that started it. Your brother was picking on you? Yeah, all because I want to be a billionaire. Oh, man, that's a huge goal. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And sometimes it almost seems impossible, but I know if I believe in myself, I'm gonna make it possible. I mean, it's my dream. I have to do it, right? Well, I think so. You're a smart guy. You can make anything happen. Yeah, and then I'll prove my brother wrong. What did I say when I brought you in here? Shut up! Ugh, sorry. Sorry. That just bought you an extra 20 minutes! Ugh, I can't believe the librarian kept us that late after school. The sun's already setting. I am hungry. I wonder how my investment's doing. Let's check it out. No. No, that's impossible. A thousand dollars already? How? There's no way. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. A thousand dollars. thousand dollars? What do you mean? Let me see that. See, that's the investment you told me was stupid, Ronnie. No way is this all yours. This is fake. It's gotta be a screenshot. No, it's real. You could refresh it too. You see, I told you one day I'm gonna be a billionaire. Give me my phone back. I don't think so. Oops. What is wrong with you? Oh, well, so much for that thousand dollars. Ronnie, that's not how money or investment or even the internet in general works you just broke my phone that's all yeah well shut up so you should give me some of that thousand dollars so i can have my investment no running that's my money i'm not just gonna give it to you fine then if you're not gonna give it to me then i'll just find my own way to take it what is going on here everything's destroyed take this and this what is he doing ronnie knock it off oh and you oh hey what in the world are you doing what am i doing more like what are you doing here take this ronnie you are acting in Insane. Destroying our home? Seriously? Hey, boys, I'm... Huh? Huh? What on earth did you do? Dad? No, it just started running around the house, smashing everything and screaming at me. What? Dad, that is not true. Look at this mess. You broke everything, Noah. Well, it looks like you turned the house into a reflection of yourself. Yeah, well, Noah still has a thousand dollars, so he can pay for everything he just broke. What? A thousand dollars? Noah, is that true? How did you get that money? I'm sure that he stole it or something. Ronnie, cut it out. I didn't... He probably did steal it. That's enough out of you. You've got a thousand dollars. You're gonna give me that money. Fix what you've done. That's it. I'm done with this place. I've had enough. There's no way I'm giving Ronnie my money. If I stay around here, he's definitely gonna steal it. No one believes in me anyways. None of my family likes me. My dad doesn't believe in me. If I just sneak away now, they're probably not even gonna notice. I'm just gonna start my new life. I'm gonna prove them wrong. <sighs> but I have nowhere to go. Maybe I have an idea. Hey, man. I got your text. What are you doing? Hey, is it all right if I crash at your place for a while? What? Why? What's going on? I... I just can't live at home anymore, and I've got nowhere else to go. You were the first person I thought of. Eesh, I'm sorry, man. I don't think there's gonna be any way my parents let that slide. The world is purple, guys! You all need to listen to me! The world is purple! Roblox is over! Where... Where is my home? Where's my home? Please, Timmy, I'm begging you. My entire family hates me. I've got nowhere else to go. I can't stay out here on the streets. Mm, all right, fine. Come on, I'll sneak you in. Oh, you are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you helping me out, man. This means a lot. Yeah, of course. It's no sweat. I wonder how my investment's doing. Can't really check it on my phone. My screen is broken. Oh, if you want it, you can check it on my computer. It's right over there. Password's just a slide cheese. The slide cheese. Really? Yeah, what? Who made you the password police? It's a good password. All right, let me just sign in. Whoa! Timmy, this is crazy. I have $10,000. You've what? I know you can make money like that. Yeah, I didn't either. I knew if I invested some of my money, it would grow, but not this fast. I need to take this and invest it and other things. Yo, dude, your phone's ringing. Oh, I can't see who it is. Hello? Who is this? What? Who is this? This is your father. Where are you? Look, I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm not coming back, okay? I'm not coming back. Whatever. I don't care. Your brother broke his leg riding a dirt bike. 
Blake. Uh, seriously? Yes, and he's in the hospital. You need to be here right now. <sighs> well, I guess I have to go check up on my brother. Oh, uh, where could my dad be? Oh, uh, there he is. Sorry, sir. That's the price of the bill. I can't negotiate it with you. Well, there's no way I could afford this. There's no way anybody could afford this. He just broke his leg. How is it this expensive? Well, maybe if your son was more careful while riding a dirt bike, this wouldn't have happened in the first place. I can't believe this. Spend the money on the dirt bike and spend the money on the broken leg. Uh, how am I going to afford this? Dad, don't worry. I'll take care of it. What? No, no. What? You're just a stupid kid. There's no way you have that kind of money. Okay, seriously, you don't know me at all. I do have that kind of money, and I just want my brother to be okay. Fine, right, if you got the money, we'll let you pay for it. How on earth could you get that kind of money? What are you doing, stealing now? No, it's not stolen, Dad. You just should have believed in me. Uh, again with this dumb billionaire thing? Yes, and obviously, it's working. It doesn't seem like you care. No one does. Yeah, well, thanks for helping out. Now you're doing this whole running away, living alone thing. But if you want, you're welcome back anytime. Whoa. Okay, thanks, Dad. Maybe I will go back. I hope Ronnie's leg's okay. It's been like a month or so since it happened. He said he'd come pick me up. Can he actually drive? Where is he? <sighs> there he is. Are you ready or not? I have a party to go to. Yeah, no, I'm ready. Thanks for giving me a ride. This is a really important meeting. Yeah, whatever. Now we're even for the whole leg thing. Well, I did that because you're my brother. Shut up. Now here you are. Get lost. All right, thanks, Ronnie. Whatever. All right, that must be him. Noah, you've got this. You got this. Uh, excuse me, you're the real estate man, aren't you? Hi, my name's Noah. Uh, hello. Uh, I thought I was meeting someone that wanted to buy the building. Yeah, that's me. I want to buy it. What? You're like 15. You can't be serious. I am serious. And I have the money for it. I want to buy this building and I'm going to start a business with it. Well, this is kind of unheard of. But if you got the money, we could talk. Trust me, I've got it. Just from looking at this place, I know this is the one. Oh man, that thing drives so fast. I can't believe it's only been three years since I started investing. And now I'm really successful. I was able to buy my dream car. You have a way, loser. You're in my spot. Ronnie, calm down. Watch where you're going. Why should I watch where I'm going? Why don't you watch where you're parking? All I did was park in the driveway. And you just hit my car. Yeah, whatever. I think I care. Well, you should care. I spent a lot of money on it. Ronnie, where are you going? Get back here. Ugh, he's impossible. Well, you made enough money, you can get your car fixed. Not your brother, though? I don't know. I think you need to help him out. What? Me help him? Yeah, it seems like your brother's going through a pretty tough time. He's not really hanging out with his friends. He seems to be alone. Why is that my problem? Because he's your brother, that's why. Why don't you help him get a job? <sighs> Fine. Fine, I'll help him get a job. I'm late to a really important meeting. Hey, it's you again. I can't believe you still work here. Yeah, what do you want? I'm really busy. Oh, well, I'm actually here to buy the building. You what? No, 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 you can't do this. Th this is my life. I breathe computers. Well, your business is failing and the building is for sale, so I'm buying it. Plus, you rip people off all the time. And you never help anyone, so I'm gonna make this into something more. Well, okay, I, I know the business is failing, but there's not much I can do. Well, you could try being nice to people. That's usually a good start. Well, look, okay, I'm, I'm sorry I was a jerk. All that stuff was in the past. Please, you have to give me a chance. Please? Oh, well, look, if you promise to work hard and actually be nice and helpful to people, I guess it would be fine if you work for me. Oh, thank you so much. You're not gonna regret this. I promise. Yeah. Yeah, well, I hope not. As of now, I'm your new boss. What I say goes around here, and you're under my watch. If I see you be rude to one customer... Well, don't you worry. The old Clarence is gone. This is the new Clarence. Well, good. Just so you know, Clarence, we're gonna have a new employee starting here real soon. Woo, that car is pretty. Wait, no way. Well, I can see that you're enjoying your dad's money. What? Look at this car. There's no way you could afford this. Um, actually, I can afford this. I earned this with my own money. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, right. You're just a spoiled little brat. That's not true. You don't know me at all. Just leave me alone. I'm a librarian. Do you have any idea what I have to go through every single day? You don't deserve this car. I do. Why? Just because you're a librarian? Yeah, and I deal with you stupid kids all the time. You're as dumb as a streetlight. What does that even mean? I don't know. It just sounded good. You can drive around in this fancy car all you want. You're going to be nuts. Nothing but a loser. I'm gonna be a billionaire. Just wait and see. <laughs> a billionaire? Yeah, right. No one in this town becomes a billionaire, that's for sure. Oh, yeah? Well, then watch and learn, because I'm gonna be the first one then. Yeah, yeah. I'll be waiting to see you crash and burn. Go enjoy some more of your dad's money, spoiled brat. <sighs> You're a mean, mean man. Ugh. No one, this is a waste of time. What are we doing here? Well, I just bought this electronic store, and this is my new business. And I'm 
I'm giving you a job. What? I don't need a job. Uh, yes, you do. Plus, I promised Dad I would help you out. Well, let's make one thing clear here. I don't do jobs. That's not me. What are you even talking about? How are you going to move forward in your life without any kind of goal or job or money? You already know my plan. I'm going to be a big, famous football star. I'm just waiting for a coach to pick me up. And in the meantime, why don't you just get a job? That way you can make your own money. Come on, just come in and check it out, okay? Ugh. All right, fine. Whatever, if it'll get you to shut up. Don't you see? It's not that bad. Yeah, I guess it's all right. Computers are pretty sick. See? And I know you know a lot about computers. You would do great at this job. Why don't you just give it a shot? Yeah, whatever. Fine. Am I the manager or what? Uh, we'll start you off as a sales associate first, and then maybe you'll become the manager one day. So what do you say? Are you in or what? Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. All right, awesome. I could really use your help on this. It means a lot. Good luck, Ronnie. I know you'll do good at this. Hey, Timmy. Man, it's so good to see you. I feel like I've been so busy lately, we haven't caught up. I can't believe how far you've came, man. This is incredible. I know. Just a couple years ago, I was a completely different person. Now, this is just the beginning. Are you ready for this real estate meeting or what? I'm as ready as ever. <laughs> awesome. I cannot wait to have you be a part of this. Come on, the real estate agent's waiting. And then cancel my four o'clock and tell that guy he's a loser and I'll never do a business with him again. Hold on, my friend's coming. Hey, Noah. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, man. Nice to see you, too. I want to talk to you about this place. I mean, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but I know you've got the money. Yeah, I was looking at the paperwork. There's no way this place costs that much. Trust me, it's true. This is the top of the top. Come on, I know you're always looking for the next business deal, looking to make more money. So am I. This will help me get rich. I mean, make us rich. Oh, I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you know what? I think you might be right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on. What are you talking about? This is gonna be great. Please, don't back out on this deal. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're trying to take advantage of me. You're trying to sell me this dump so that you can make more money. What? <laughs> no! No, I would I would never do something like that. Look, man, I'm not taking the deal. Me and my friend, we're out of here. Come on, Timmy, let's go. Wait, 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 come back! Oh, man, there goes my commission. Well, this is it, Timmy. The grand opening of the food bank. I have to say, I think it's going pretty well. Dude, this is amazing. You can afford all this stuff? Yeah, I saved up about a half a million dollars and now I want to help people out. I know there are tons of people around here that deserve it. Yeah, man, there are. I mean, look, there's already people lining up at the door. This is going to make a big difference. I'm just glad that a lot of this hard-earned money is going to go help people in need. Wait a second. What? Ronnie? Ronnie, what are you doing here? Ugh. It was so boring at the store. I needed a break. I just wanted to come see what this place was. Ronnie, you're supposed to be working at the electronics store. You can't just leave your job just because you want to. Mm, mm, you just give this out to people? Mm. Yeah, we give it out to people that actually need it. Now put that down. Mm, all right, all right, all right. Chill, chill. Fine. No, Ronnie, I've had enough of this. You need to stop acting ridiculous. What? I'm not acting ridiculous, but fine. I guess I'll go since I know I'm not wanted here. Ronnie, that's not what I meant. It's just... Uh, Don't worry. I know exactly what you meant. Take this! Ugh. Ronnie, are you kidding? Ugh. Ugh, stupid no one is stupid money. Ooh, look at me. I'm so rich. I have so much. Ugh, I can't stand him. You know, all that money is just getting to his head. You know, I don't even know why I took this stupid job. I don't need it. I don't need anything from Noah. I'm going to show him just how much I don't need anything. I'm going to quit. And you know what? I think before I do, I'm going to teach him a lesson. <laughs> That's way better. Dude, that was so not cool. Yeah, well, enjoy working at this useless store, loser. Hi. Uh, this better not be true. Oh, no, no, look at this place. Clarence, when you called, I didn't think you were actually serious. Yeah, your monster of a brother did all this. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have hired him. It's only a matter of time before he did something immature and stupid. I'm gonna go have a talk with him right now. What am I gonna do about all this stuff? See if there's anything you can fix. I'll be back to help you in just a bit. Ronnie, Ronnie, are you home? Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? Are you joking me right now? What is your problem? You threw one of your temper tantrums and destroyed everything at the store. And what about it? You deserved it. I deserved it? No, no one deserved it. You're just acting out like a child. I'm trying to make something out of myself. Unlike you. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Noah, that was uncalled for. Dad, you cannot be serious. You're taking Ronnie's side over this? He destroyed the entire electronics store. Look, sometimes, brother, 
brother's fight. You can't control it, okay? Just leave your brother alone. Leave him alone? No. What? That's it. I'm done. I don't need you, and I don't need you. I don't need anybody. I am so sick of this. Where are you going? No, I come back here. <laughs> Later, loser. Whoa, I still can't get over how awesome this place is. I mean, leaving home the way I did probably wasn't the best, but I had to get out of there. At least now, Timmy and I can just do our own thing. And I'm going to be graduating soon. This is exactly what I needed. Whoa, dude. I know you showed me the pictures, but this place looks even better in person. I know, man. Looks like we're really living the dream, you know? Now we're not going to have any distractions from my annoying brother or my inconsiderate dad or anybody else. We are one step away from becoming billionaires. Don't forget, too. We're graduating in a week. Ah. <sighs> No more school and the rest of our lives ahead of us. I know it sounds beautiful. I cannot wait. But I've actually been thinking and I kind of have a new idea. Oh boy. Another one of your crazy ideas, huh? All right, well, what is it this time? Well, thinking about graduating, I actually have an idea to give back to the school. Well, as most of you know, my, my name is Noah and I'm going to be graduating soon. So as my graduation gift, I want to give the school a million dollars. My gosh, a million dollars? This is amazing. The greatest gift we've been given so far. Well, I'm just glad to help, Principal Waddles. Because of your generous donation, we want to name our library after you. We'll even paint your name on it. Wow, thank you. That actually would be really cool. Having a building named after me? I never saw that coming. This is ridiculous. You're giving him a library? What about me? Yo, who is that guy? Uh, this is so stupid. I should have something named after me. Why don't you name the football field after me? Ronnie, you're causing a scene and making a fool of yourself. Just go home. You know what? I will go home. This whole place sucks. You suck. I'm going home. I still can't believe I'm doing this. I mean, I'm gonna go have dinner with Dad and Ronnie. Been a long time. Hey, Dad. Hi, Ronnie. There he is. Noah, gotta say, I am so proud of you. Getting a whole building named after you at your school? Come on. Only successful people have that. Yeah, thanks, Dad. I really appreciate it. It's kind of cool. Kind of doing pretty good for yourself. You know, in honor of all of your accomplishments, I decided to get you a little gift. Wait, really? You got me a gift? Yeah, I mean, you remember when we were younger and I destroyed your laptop all those years ago? Yeah, I remember. Did you get me a new laptop? Oh, well, what's this in my hand? Is it for you? Wow, thank you so much, Ronnie. I'm shocked. No, really, you don't have to thank me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ronnie, that was my laptop. Yeah, well, not anymore. Did you see the look on his face? <laughs> really, Ronnie? You're acting like a child. Yeah, well, you finally come home after so long and you're still just such a big shot around us. That's not true. You are the one that's acting out for no reason. Actually, you know what? I think there is a reason and you're just not telling me. Yeah, I'm acting out like this because you're dumb. I'm dumb? Look at me, Ronnie. I think you're just jealous of me. I have a great job and I live on my own and you're still at home living with dad. You know what? That's it. Get out. Boys, you need to stop this. This is getting out of hand. Calm down. No, he made this get out of hand. Get out. You are not welcome here. Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you so much. Next Friday sounds perfect. Great, I'll see you there. Well, that sounded good. What's going on? Well, that was one of the most successful businesses in Roblox, and they want to do business with us. That was just the CEO. Dude, that's insane. Do you have any idea how many people want to work with this company? If we keep this up before we know it, we're both going to be billionaires in no time. Ooh, we'll be billionaires in no time. Yeah, well, not on my watch. I can't let my little brother be more successful than I am. I'm not going to let him get away with this. I have a call to make. Man, this place is crazy. Hey, Jeremy, Ron. Ronnie, hey, it's great to see you. Man, it's been so long. I mean, what, I've seen you since school? I know, how have things been since then? Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, things aren't really going all too great for me. I mean, that's actually why I'm here. Well, hey, you need to get over the past. You gotta start giving yourself a better future. And that's why you're just the person I wanted to talk to. I want to become successful on my own and for my other personal reasons. Well, listen, Ronnie, we've been best friends for years. If I'm gonna do this for anyone, it's gonna be you. Well, I've been looking for a job, so I was wondering if there's anything that I could pick up. Yeah, of course. We definitely have a place for you. What do you say? Yeah, I'd love to get started. Here, let me get some paperwork for you to sign. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh, my brother's going down. And here we are. This is going to be great. Hey, loser, what are you doing here? I'm here for a very important business meeting. Ronnie, what are you doing here? I work here, dork. Hey, really? I had no idea. Good for you, man. Hopefully, it'll bring you what you need in your life. Oh, it sure will. In fact, it already has. Well, that's good. Ronnie, I'm actually proud of you. I'm glad you're starting to make the right choices for yourself and for dad. Well, it was nice to see you, but I might be late for the meeting. 
I need to go. You better not be doing any business with this company. Ugh, I can't believe him. I'm not gonna let this slide. Thanks again for meeting with me. I'm so excited to start working with you. Yeah, likewise. Joining together is gonna make both of us a lot of money. And also give back, which is even better. I cannot let this happen. Jeremy, what are you doing? Uh, Ronnie, I'm in the middle of a business meeting here. You are acting out of line, Ronnie. Stop. No, I'm not gonna stop. Jeremy, you cannot do business with him. This is my brother. He's garbage. Look, Ronnie, this is the real world now. I'm not just gonna not do business with him because he's your brother. You're acting way out of line. I am not acting out of line. This guy thinks he's better than everyone else in this room. Jeremy, you have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, you know what? I gave you a chance and you blew it. You're fired, Ronnie. Wait, what? You heard me. You're fired. I want you out of my office now. No, but this is all your fault. Timmy, I just don't really know what to do. I don't know how to get to my brother. I'm trying so hard, but I feel like I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm also not doing anything right. I just can't get to him. Do you want my honest opinion about your brother? Yeah, of course I do. I just think he doesn't want to grow up. I mean, he kind of peaked in high school. Yeah, I think you might be right. It's like he's still back there, thinking he's the most popular person in school. He's my brother. I don't want to just, like, give up on him. No, you're right. You shouldn't. Family sticks together. But at the same time, too, there is a time and place to call it quits. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it's crazy to think if I keep doing the same thing or expect Ronnie to change. Whatever I've done so far obviously has not been working. Well, then it sounds to me like it's time to try something new. Yeah, maybe you're onto something. Something new. Oh, what could that be? I guess I'll have to think about it. Thanks, Timmy. You always do come up with the best ideas. Mm, I gotta be careful. Maybe I can find something in there. Something just to help what I need. Let's see. Alright, gotta be careful. Oh, this security guard here. What do I do? Hey, you! You're not supposed to be here! Ugh! Ugh! Just wait until Noah finds out about this. Ronnie? Ronnie, where are you? I know you're home. Where are you? I thought I banned you from the house. Ronnie, I have officially had enough with you. How dare you say that to me when you literally broke into my house last night? What are you talking about? I did no such thing. Yes, you did. You can't lie to me about this. I have security cameras, idiot, and also a security guard who described you perfectly. Ugh, great. You're big, fancy security. You know what, Noah? I hate you. You don't deserve anything that you've gotten. Oh, hey, 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 easy. It's four o'clock on a Tuesday, boys. Calm down. No, Dad, I'm sorry. I cannot calm down right now. Ronnie broke into my house and tried to rob me last night. Yeah, and I probably would have gotten away with it, too. You know what, Noah? Everything was perfectly fine until you came into the picture. Oh, my gosh, Ronnie. Stop it, okay? Just back off. Make me, loser. All right, boys. Hey, hey, hey. Cut it out right now! Sorry, Dad, but I I just can't do it anymore. I never want to see Ronnie ever again. As far as I know, my brother is dead to me. Look, Noah, you and I can talk numbers all day long, but I just gotta know, are you interested in this deal or not? I've been thinking about it all week. It is a huge offer. Listen, if you take the deal, then both of our businesses can do amazing things. I know, we could change a lot of lives, change this city. I think you're right. Jeremy, you've got a deal. Awesome. Awesome. Noah, you just became a whole lot richer. Yeah, thanks. And so did you. And I think I know exactly what I'm going to do with the money. This charity event is going so well. We're raising a lot of money. This is absolutely nuts. This has to be the most you've ever donated to charity. Yeah, actually, I think you're right. It is. And hey, congratulations on the big day, Mr. Billionaire. It's in all the newspapers. I mean, it took a while, but... I told you, if you worked hard, you would make your dream come true. Dream come true? This guy's a fraud! My brother is an absolute jerk. He doesn't plan to use any of his money for good. He's literally donating to charity, you idiot! Ronnie, that's not how donating anything money works. You actually have to do it. Uh, no one understands me. Ronnie, I tried to understand you, but sometimes you can only do so much for someone. It's time you learn to change things for yourself. All right, Larry, why don't you go inside and I don't know, we'll meet you in there. Yeah, okay, sure, dad. You think I could have some money? What do I look like, a bank? Get out of here. Oh, uh, okay. All right, this is finally it. We get to lose this kid. I am so excited. I don't like that kid at all. He's the worst. I know. It's going to be awesome moving somewhere nice and warm by the beach where he can't bother us anymore. I mean, we're already kind of near the beach, but I'm talking tropical. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm going to wear one of those big sun hats every moment of my life from here on out. I'm going to feel like a movie star. Good. Let's leave this loser. Come on, it's time. Thank you.
Mom? Dad, hello? Mom? Dad, where'd you go? Hello? Oh my gosh, I wonder if something happened to him. My gosh, I can't believe my parents would just leave me alone like that. I hope that they're okay. Hello? Mom, Dad! Hey, what are you doing in this house? Oh, this is my house. What are you doing in here? This isn't your house anymore, man. What, what are you talking about? I just closed the deal on this place an hour ago and you're trespassing. Whoa, that can't be true. My parents own this house. Oh, yeah, 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 your parents. That's probably who it was then. So wait, we're moving? Yeah, your parents said that they were moving to some other state or something like that, somewhere by the beach, and now they were finally free or whatever, I don't know. All I know is that I got this house. Wait, but my parents abandoned me? This was all on purpose? They didn't take me with them? I don't know, it doesn't look like it, kid. You're still standing here, aren't you? Oh my gosh, why would they do this? Why would they just leave me here? I don't know, I honestly don't care. Well, can I at least get my stuff? Not a chance, man. Everything I bought in this house is mine. They said everything was included. But please, you're not even gonna want that stuff. You're like an adult. You're not gonna fit into my clothes. Well, I'll sell them online or something. All I know is you gotta get out of here or I'm calling the cops. Oh my gosh, okay, fine. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I can't believe my parents just left me. And I don't get to take any of my stuff. I'm so poor now. I have nothing. No money, no clothes. I'm just gonna be stuck wearing these rags forever. I just wanna have a good life. I don't understand this. I don't wanna be homeless. Why would my parents do this to me? I mean, I guess they never really cared. Even when I had a home, it never really felt like one because my parents were so mean. Well, I'm on my own now, and I can change the way my life's gonna be. I can make it whatever I want it to be, right? I'm just gonna have to find a way to make some money and get some food, and then everything else from there will be different. Someday I'm gonna have my own house and my own family, and I'll treat them all with love and respect like they deserve, just like I wish I had. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in a while. As much as I hate to say it, I might have to start asking people for money. Maybe someone will help me. Uh, ew! Can you get out of my way, please? What? Oh, I I'm sorry. You're disgusting! What are you? Uh, my name's Larry. Ew! What's a Larry? I hate it! Look, I I'm really sorry. I I'm, I'm a person, though. I'm not an it. Whatever, you are a loser. You're a gross homeless person. You're, you're just worthless. Get out of my face. Oh, but sir, please don't be so mean. Hey there. Oh, great, another homeless person. I suggest you get out of here now. But no, I, no, I'll do whatever I want. You're gonna have a problem with me. You know what? I don't need this. I'm out of here. Wow, thank you. Really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. It's tough being homeless around here. I've been homeless for a while. Yeah, you can say that again. Hey, well, you look like you're hungry. I got a camp not too far away from here. You want to come and have something to eat? Wow, yeah, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks again for helping me. It's been really lonely out here. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. It's really hard being homeless. I know. My parents just abandoned me and left me out here to fend for myself. Like they literally sold the house and just moved away and didn't invite me. Oh, man. Oh, I kind of had the same thing happen to me. I had really mean parents and I ended up having to run away. Things are going to get better, though, man. I really hope so. You really think that they will? 
Yeah, of course. Can't get much worse than this. Yeah, I guess that's true. I didn't catch your name anyway. Well, my name's Tim. Tim, I'm Larry. It's great to meet you. Yeah, you too. Ah, oh, man, we need to find a way to make some money. We need to get a job or something. Yeah, I don't know. No job's gonna hire us, but, uh, do you have any skills? Well, I know it sounds silly, but I make the best lemonade in the world, and I used to sell it where I lived, and a lot of people bought it. Well, hey, that's awesome. Maybe we can find a way to make some money selling lemonade. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't cost that much to get started up. All right, then. I say we pull whatever money together we can get, then we start making lemonade. All right, yeah, I'm down. Wow, I can't believe it. We've already made a bunch of money. This is awesome. Yeah, you sure do make the best lemonade I ever had. Oh, thanks, Tim. I knew it was good, but I didn't think people were going to like it this much. I'm so excited. This could be really cool. Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, hey, it's going well. Well, I just wanted to tell you that was the best lemonade I've ever had. Wow, really? Yeah, you guys need to keep it up. This stuff is amazing. I've never had anything like it. Just keep it up. I'm going to come back like every day. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, you guys take care. Yeah, you too. Can you believe this? We're off to something big, man. Gosh, I'm so excited to set up for the day. I can't believe that we sold out yesterday. This is incredible. I really think this is what's going to help me and Tim get back on our feet. Hooray right there! Uh, hello, officer. I didn't see no permit for this place. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't know that I needed a permit for a lemonade stand. Well, you can't be here. What? Please, can you just let us stay here? I mean, we don't have much money. This is the only way we have to earn money. We really need this place. And people are expecting us to be here today. Yeah, I don't really care about that. That's the thing. But, but, but why, sir? I'm just trying to make a difference. I'm trying to change my life. Yeah, well, the thing is, is I don't like homeless people. And I don't want you hanging around this neighborhood. Do you understand that? But sir, we're just trying to contribute. All right, let me put this in terms that you'll understand. You either walk away right now or you go to jail. Those are your two options. All right, fine, I'll just leave. Can we take our stuff? What'd I just say? <sighs> fine. And just like that, he just took it all away from us because we were homeless. Well, uh, yeah, that's messed up, man. <sighs> I know. I don't know what to do. Maybe we should just give up. It seems like nobody wants us to succeed. Well, hey, man, that's not a good attitude to have. Well, it's the truth, though. So what if they don't want you to succeed? I mean, we should just try to prove them wrong, right? That lemonade was the best lemonade I ever had. You should own your own store or something. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. How would we even do that, though? They didn't even let us take the rest of the money that was in our jar. Yeah, well, you just gotta convince somebody, that's all. Really? Like who? Well, I don't know. Maybe we go to the bank and get a load. We could put together a business plan. I mean, it's not like we don't have a product to sell. Yeah, you're right, but who's gonna talk to a bunch of homeless people? Well, I don't know, but it's worth a shot, right? Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm not gonna let this defeat me. We gotta find a way to make this happen. All right, let's do it, man. Uh, hi, excuse me. We're supposed to meet someone here? Oh, it's you guys. Hey. Oh, hey, you're the customer from the other day. Yeah, I love the lemonade. Love the lemonade. What brought you guys in? Well, we, uh, we kind of ended up getting ourselves into a little bit of trouble here, and, uh, we're hoping that somebody from the bank might be able to help us out. Oh, no, what'd you guys do? 
We didn't do anything. The police shut us down because they hated homeless people. That's the only reason. So now we can't go back there. They stole our lemonade. They stole the stand and they stole the money. Oh man, that's messed up. That stuff was so good. Like the best I've ever had in my life. Well, I really appreciate it. And uh, I don't know, we're kind of coming here for help. We were hoping that we could maybe get a business loan. Oh, all right, what? So what are you guys thinking? I mean, we can't give a loan just for a lemonade stand. Well, I'm thinking something much bigger. Everybody liked this, right? So maybe we could bring it to like a giant restaurant or something and we could sell all different types of lemonades. Oh, I like what you're thinking. I like what you're thinking. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to help you guys out. Wow, really? Oh my gosh. Yeah, of course I'll help you guys out. No worries at all. Well, thank you so much. I can't believe that I actually live in this house. Well, I can't believe it either. Well, I guess I can because you definitely deserve it. Yeah, but so do you. You have a house just like it. Well, I certainly deserved it too. Oh man, it's amazing. Our lemonade business really took off. We have franchises all over the world now. It's insane. Isn't that crazy? And it all started off with that little lemonade stand that somebody tried to take away from you. I know, and I'm glad that you didn't let me just quit. I know it seemed easier to quit at the time, but we didn't have anything, so we had to give it a chance. It's true. If you want something bad enough, you gotta work for it, right? That's right. And look at you now. Your parents abandoned you and left you out to live in the streets, and now you're living in this million dollar home. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I'm just so excited for what the future has to hold. Yeah, me too, man. Me too.